For the titans of Wall Street, it's like the recession never happened. Less than a year after the big banks helped cause the financial meltdown, they're on track to pay out a record $140 billion in bonuses this year. Goldman Sachs alone has set aside $16.7 billion, enough to pay each worker a bonus of about $527,000. It's like they're on Mars and the rest of us are on Earth. If they do understand the way the rest of America is living, uh, they don't care. And then there are the perks. Last year, when banks started getting bailout money, top execs at 29 big banks averaged $389,000 in perks. Everything from a $200,000 country club membership for the CEO of Comerica to $220,000 for the head of Bank of America to fly on corporate planes. Wall Street has no morals. Robert Weissman of the corporate watchdog group Public Citizen says because Wall Street will never rein in its own greed, the government has to act, something he says the Obama administration has largely failed to do. Everything that we've seen from the administration, from Congress on the top pay at the Wall Street firms is trivial compared to what we need. But what about the administration's so-called pay czar? Wasn't he appointed to put a lid on Wall Street pay? I'm no czar. We caught up with him today at a conference on executive pay. You don't have the power, right? Is that what you're saying? I don't have the power. My, fr my, my, my power is limited by statute and regulation to those seven companies, and that's all I can do. And of the seven companies he regulates, only five are banks. The rest of Wall Street is pretty much free to do as it pleases. Chip Reed, CBS News, the White House.